In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to slow down the trips tight end offense in Madden 22. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the YouTube channel. Now, if you're new to the channel, uh, one of the things that I did want to let you know about is we're going to be talking in this video about how you can slow down or even stop the trips tight end offense. And the trips tight end offense was arguably the best offense uh, over the last two to three years in Madden. Uh, well, it was really good in Madden 19, Madden 20 wasn't the greatest, but then Madden 21, it came back really, really strong. And then Madden 22, it's obviously very effective as well. So that being said, this has been one of the best offenses for a couple of years and um, you know just great spacing. So we're gonna help you slow down today. Um, we're gonna start out with kind of a base play curl flat and work through some of the other concepts that you're gonna see from trips tight end. But before we go too far, we're gonna be using my nickel 335 odd defensive guide. Uh, we're gonna be using kind of a one of our coverages out of that guide to show you how to stop this or slow this down. So if you wanna get more access and more in depth stuff out of the 335 odd, I would encourage you to pick up the full defensive guide. The full copy shows you how to shut down trips tied in, U trips, compression, all of that stuff. Uh, compression is a whole different monster this year. But that being said, I would highly encourage you if you've not picked up the 335 odd defensive guide, I'm going to put a link to that uh, defensive guide in the description. All you got to do is go down to the description, click the link that I put there. It'll take you right over to the website and you can get the defensive guide for just 15 bucks. And that being said, let's dive into uh, the coverage scheme. So what we're going to do from a coverage perspective is we've got the cover six, the cover three cloud, the Tampa two, and the cover four drop in our audibles. I actually really like the way the cover three cloud plays this year, um, but you need zone drops to make that, I think, super locked down. So because we don't have zone drops in practice mode, I'm going to show you um, how I like to use the cover six. So uh, I think the cover six is one of the better base coverages in the game. I think it's probably the best match coverage this year. Um, I just think it's the safest. It just plays really, really well. Um, so that being said, you know, and I think you need things like soft squats and things like that. So anyways, all that to say, let's just jump into cover six real quick. So now you notice real quick that they move this linebacker. Um, I don't love that, but we can actually take advantage of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to spread our line. We're going to crash our line down. And then I want you to take this guy right here and put him right here. Okay, really important. Just put him right there. The reason why I like to do that is because this is going to give kind of the illusion that we could send some pressure off this left side if they aren't being careful. And we certainly can. We can send pressure off this left side. Um, I'm not going to go over that in this video. That's something we've talked about in the defensive guide. But this is one of my favorite little things to do to trips tight end. When this linebacker bounces, I love to bring him just off the edge. Just bring him down where you could blitz him. Okay? From that point there, um, then what we're going to be doing is we're just going to i mean you, you don't want to i don't like to press coverage this year i just like to leave it um to be honest but what we're going to do is we're going to take uh jamel dean on this right side here and we're going to put him into a hard flat coverage um so you'll see there there's his hard flat so he's no longer in match okay then the next thing that i like to do is actually like when i bring this guy down i'm going to put him into a middle read zone this is going to help significantly with anything over the middle like post routes the mid read zone is one of the better zones in my opinion for defending uh post routes crossing routes any of that stuff just quick over the middle uh it's a great zone for that okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to take indomu can sue here or this defensive end and we're going to drop him into a three red hook zone um, and we don't have to really do anything else. I mean, that's pretty much the coverage. Um, the biggest thing that you need to understand is if you see corner route, okay? Um, one thing I do like to do, especially if they're in trips tight end, okay? Keyword is trips tight end, so they haven't motioned anybody yet. You can take this guy and put him into a, um, you could put him into something. You could put him into an inside quarter. Um, you could do something like that if you wanted to. Um, you know, so I go in between using, you know, this guy here or this guy here. I think it's better for the totality of the defense to use or this guy. The big thing you have to understand is if you see a crossing route, you have to go guard that. If you see a corner route to the tight end, you have to go guard that. So what I like to do with this guy is I could either put him into a middle third 
or what I could do is I could man cross man him up on someone, um, whether that be the tight end. I normally do like to use or, or man him up on the tight end just to kind of um, help slow down things like corner routes and stuff. But this is kind of the base coverage shell, and this is it. I mean, this is the D. And um, the other thing you could do if you wanted to is you could put this guy into an outside quarter. He'll take away things like uh, corner route. He'll match the tight end pretty much every time. And then you could take this guy and put him into a hard flat. That's another option. Uh, it's very good coverage in terms of how it's going to defend a tight end corner route. Okay. So you could do either one of those. Okay. So that being said, let's just show you the coverage shell. Um, so again, I'm just going to kind of hover in here. And if I see a crossing route, I'm going to go get it. So curl flat is our base play. And you see here, for the most part, we play pretty solid defense, pretty solid coverage. Let me jump into instant replay, kind of break it down for you. Um, so you'll notice that this outside corner, we did put him in an outside quarter, uh, but he matches the tight end, takes that completely away. Okay, now take a look at this here, back over here to this post. You'll see here, he gets double, he gets, um, that mid read takes away the initial cut, and then you'll see here he gets matched by the safety. So, you know, that's a bang bang play. I think, I think we could potentially slot, swat that. Uh, your flat gets taken by the quarter flat. Curl gets taken by this guy, and then your running back route is really the number one route that you've got to look for. So now you see here the three rec does a good job, and if that's a linebacker there, he's going to react a little bit better, but he's going to take that route. Okay, so that's pretty much curl flat. Um, now, if you let's say you see something like PA counter go, okay, so PA counter go to me one of the best plays in the game this year, for several different reasons. Um, I'm just going to put the back on a ghost route. So we're going to go to cover six again, spread our line, crash our line to the right, drag this guy down, put him in a middle read. I like to kind of bring these guys into the box here. And then from there, all I have to do, um, you know, you can leave the soft squad. I'm not too, I mean, I don't know, because you can kind of jump the running back route if you wanted to. Um, the table route from trip side in is really good, but I would say either hard flat him or put him in the quarter and put the linebacker in the hard flat. Either one of those are really effective. Um, but what you'll see here is this time I'm gonna streak the tight end up the seam. So you're gonna use her kind of right in here. Let me show you the coverage here. So that's completely set up other than just putting that bluff blitz. There we go. Okay, so now uh, let's just show you Peter counter go. So you're gonna follow, you see he gets matched. So you're going to the crosser and you just take that away yourself. As you see, and you don't even, I mean, you do get it, it does match it, but you, it doesn't, I would say that it matches it, but it doesn't necessarily completely take it away. What I like about this outside quarter zone is he does take the tight end really well. I mean, the tight end streak, not really an option. So I don't have to worry about that. So then I come over here, um, this hard flat does, a, does his job, right? He sits on the running back. Um, and then you've got a lot of mud on this crosser, right? Doesn't necessarily stop it, but you got a lot of mud here. So you're just coming over here to help out. He does get matched, but you are coming over here to help out. You got your flat cover in here and then your dig, right? This digs matched across. And then look at that. You got your three wrecks sitting right underneath it. The mid read goes with the tight end streak. Really important thing to point out. Um, that's unfortunate. Honestly, we'd rather him not do that. Uh, but you know, that's par for the course. Okay. So now what about when they motion across? Okay. So last thing we're going to go over is when they motion across. So let's say they motion um, across and they run one of the best plays in the game last year. Now I'm not going to motion snap him while I'm in motion because I want to break down the routes, but this is kind of what you'll get. Okay. This is one of the many ways they could do that. A couple other ways, but this is one of them. So when we go to our cover six, obviously when we start the play, this guy, we're still going to move him down. Now all the adjustments are still the same. We're gonna move him down, okay? Put him in a mid read, move this guy, move this guy, just like so, okay? And then we're gonna drop the three rec. Now what we've gotta deal with though, is we have, um, we basically have a, a three wide receiver set to the right. Now I would rather leave uh, what we have. I don't think what we have is that bad. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna outside quarter zone uh, Jamel Dean. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Levante David, okay, if we get this motion, uh, we're going to take him and we're going to put him into a hard flat, okay, so it's basically the same coverage, except now the only thing that we're 
really wanting to do is I'm going to come back on the speed read and there's a couple things. Number one, you could cross man on the tight end. I'm not saying you should because if the typically when they do this motion, the tight end's not going to streak up the middle of the field. If he does streak up the middle field, you're going to cover him anyway because you, you're typically also not going to get a crossing route from left to right. You might, but you're probably not. What they're probably going to do is cross from right to left or run a corner flood concept to the right. So that being said, we're just going to kind of watch and spot the tight end. And so you see here we spot him, come up here. And then as you see, great, great pressure and, um, and really good coverage. So let me just jump into this replay. But as you can see, pretty solid coverage across the board, not having to do too much different. Um, you're going to see here we've got that hitch. The three wreck really does a good job of taking this crosser um, for a split second. Now the crossing route to the tight end has always been the thing that you have to guard. Has always been the thing that you have to guard anyway. So pretty much you're essentially spotting the tight end. If the tight end goes on a route that you need to go get, which is either a crossing route or a vertical streak or something, you go get him. I mean, that's pretty much the gist of it, but everything else pretty much taken away. Okay, so that is um, that is really my core way to defend trips tight end. I think it's one of the better ways to defend trips tight end. One other thing that you could do if you wanted to make your life really, really easy is let's say that they motion across. You do get a lot of time when they motion these receivers. So what you can do is just flip the play. The blitz works better off this other side anyway. And then you're just going to do this. That's it. That's all you do. And look at this blitz just scream off that left edge. I mean, just super fast heat. So that's one little thing that you could do that will really mess up with trips tight end, in my opinion. Um, you're going to get really good coverage out of that. But anyways, guys, that's the video. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get the full defensive game plan, really learn the pressures and some other coverages, not just for trips tight end, but how to stop bunch and how to stop the rest of the meta offenses in the community. I would encourage you to pick up the defensive guide. It's the best defense that I've ever put together. And to be honest with you, it's now needed more than ever because defense is super, super tough in Madden 22. So if you want to learn, and I think if you're, if you're a defensive player, which I pride myself on playing good defense, um, I would tell you that in Madden 22, if you can play decent defense, it's going to help you win so much more than if you can play good offense. So I would encourage you to get the defensive guide. There's a link in the description. Also, real quick, we update the guide so any patch that comes out that changes anything we update it there's always updates going on for it we've updated it so many times from the beginning of the years we've found new coverages new concepts so it's not just a one and done it's you pay one time and then you get this up guide updated throughout the whole season so um, super affordable just 15 bucks uh, to get you guys going and get you guys uh, a defensive guide so thanks for your time hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to get the defensive game plan there's a link in the description. You just click on that link and it takes you right over to the website.